Hello there YouTube, this is Jalen James and I'm here with another how-to video and for this video I wanted to show you how to back up pictures from your iPhone to an external hard drive using your Mac and um, with this um, addition you know my Mac does not have as much space as my phone but here we'll get started so the first thing I want to do is show you um, or explain is to connect your phone to your laptop with your USB cable that comes with your phone. Mine is connected already here and as you can see my phone has 128 gigabytes of memory and in my photos however I have 80 gigabytes of memory for my photos. I have 9,000, over 9,000 photos and when I look at uh, my Mac, the amount of storage on my Mac is only 120 gigabytes. So my phone has more memory than my computer does. And the issue is I can't back up my phone to my computer, much less my pictures, which are 80 gigabytes worth of pictures. They can't be backed up. So I'll, I was in a dilemma to figure out how do I easily transfer my photos from my camera, I mean from my phone to an external hard drive that I had. Um, and so I looked, uh, I wanted to free up space obviously to take more pictures and to improve the performance of my phone and also to prepare for the next iPhone that I might want to buy um, in the future. So I looked online for methods on how to do this and I would always find um, complicated methods where you have to take you know your photos library and transfer the pictures over to your hard drive and make a new photos library and all those other um, complicated steps but what I learned recently is the magic of image capture and I'm going to show you how to do that now so it's like one of those hidden features of uh, on your Mac that you can use so Next, after you con um, connected your phone to your computer, you want to go ahead and connect your external hard drive. So mine has two terabytes of space on my external hard drive, and it's about to pop up now. There it is. So I've um, got some stuff in here already. I tried to do this um, photo transfer earlier, um, and I got my photos library thing about this is you can't open up the individual photos and see if they're all there um, much less manipulate them if you wanted to so now that now that that's connected I'm going to open what's called image capture so I'm going to go to spotlight I can either click this um, icon here or hold command and press the spacebar and then start to type in um, image capture so there it is I'm gonna double click to open it up and so this is the image capture screen and what you'll see is um, a list of devices on the left of the screen the only de um, device that has pictures on it is my phone that's connected to my computer right now and um, but I wanted it's already selected and what it did is um, you know show all of my pictures all of my pictures and even videos as well um, and so the next step in this process would be to go down here to this bottom part of the screen and select where you would like these pictures to be imported to <clears throat> I've done this before and um, it's showing a picture uh, an image of where I backed my pictures up earlier but what I'm going to do here is click other because none of these spaces uh, none of these places are large enough to hold the pictures that I have so I'm going to click other there then I'm going to scroll over to my connected external hard drive and from here I'm going to click a new folder and what I like to do is put in the date of when I'm um, backing up the pictures so that I know the last time that I backed 
them up, which is the 29th, we'll say for this example. And then I'll put iPhone backup or iPhone pics. So now I'm gonna create that folder in my external hard drive. And there it is, now I've selected it and I'm gonna choose that folder. So now I'm free to select any number of pictures that I want. I might do one picture if I wanna import that or um, by holding command and clicking, I can import uh, different pictures as well so for instance uh, these three here any three pictures will do or any amount I'm gonna just click these and what I'm gonna do is import these four pictures to that folder in my external hard drive just for the sake of time to keep this video pretty short um, I'm gonna import so now it's importing the photos and it's already done. Now mind you, I have over, I think 9,000 pictures and videos, and the, uh, after I imported all of them, the time that it took was about less than an hour to transfer all those pictures, so it's a fast backup as well. So now I'm gonna go to the folder that I just created, and there are those four photos, and I have full, um, full size of the pictures. They haven't been um, resized or lost any quality. You can still see them here and, and check to make sure if they're still on my phone or if all of them transferred over. There I am in China, the Apple Store, <clears throat> or near it. But anyway, there they are. And uh, that is image capture for you. So a um, couple of fun facts about image capture um, that's really cool is that once I, <clears throat> once I have uploaded a certain amount of pictures and say I disconnect my phone and I take more pictures going forward, and then I wanna come back and back them up. And say I haven't deleted the old pictures from my phone. Well, image capture is gonna recognize, once you connect your, your phone back and you select the same place to import your photos, image capture is gonna recognize that and it's not going to make doubles of your pictures. So as you can see, only four pictures are still here after I backed them up um, for the second time in a row. So that is really cool. You don't have to go back through and make sure that you've deselected pictures that you've already backed up. It already knows and does that for you. So that is really cool. Um, and yes, that is um, image capture. And for some final thoughts, I just want to say I've also used this awesome app, Google Photos, to back up pictures um, and videos with my phone as well. The cool thing about this, uh, about Google Photos, is that you can access the photos that you've deleted from your iPhone using the cloud or Google's um, photo service. And you can search them by date, what's in the picture, location, etc. So you always have access to the pictures if you want to show someone some pictures that you were um, of a trip you took or whatever. Um, you can go there and access them um, while still having more space to take pictures on your phone. So that's what I've used. And with that, I want to say thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, comment if you have any questions. I'll try to answer any of those. Um, for as long as possible and subscribe so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one